Good morning, everyone. So I'm at Hostel Around the Bend, and today I'm gonna to be doing a pretty easy slack pack, which I'm really excited for. I'm getting shuttled up to Blue Ridge Gap, and then I'm hiking southbound back to the hostel. I think it's around 5.8 miles, so it should be a pretty relaxing day. Just got dropped off at Blue Ridge Gap and hiking south. So far it's been a really good morning. Um, I woke up around 5.30, had some coffee, had some cereal. And today should be like a pretty short day. Still gonna get some miles in, so that's good. And yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on right now. It's just beautiful out here this morning. I literally feel so lucky every day just to be able to attempt this again. Last year at this time, I just remember feeling like so anxious and there's no way that I was gonna make it and just had all these like negative thoughts. And one really important thing that I learned last year when I was hiking is that like, this is such a long trail. You cannot predict what's going to happen. You don't know if you're gonna get injured. You don't know if you're gonna have a family emergency. You just, you really don't know what's gonna happen while you're out here for like six months or whatever. But I am confident that as long as nothing like that happens, I will make it this year. I know there's gonna be bad days and there's gonna be a lot of days where I probably wanna quit, but I just know that this time my mindset is right. Um, I'm mentally strong enough to do it. And I just know that I got this. So last year when I was hiking, I spent way too much money. So this year I decided that I was going to make a weekly budget and keep track of all of my expenses and try to stick to it. And I set a pretty tight budget. Um, I don't have to follow it like to the T. It's not gonna be a huge deal if I go over it. But I wanna do the trail for a little bit cheaper this year um, than I was on track to do it last year. And that really just means spending more time like camping and not in town. But anyways, now that I've finished my first week, I kinda wanna talk about that budget and how much money I actually spent. So right now I have my weekly budget set at $225. So that includes hostel stays, resupply, town food, um, basically anything that I'm spending money on while on the trail. It does not include like my normal like subscriptions, like Apple Music um, or stuff like my car payment and insurance. So with that being said, um, last week I spent $202 while on the trail. So I did a pretty good job at keeping it under that budget. There are definitely times when I was tempted to spend more money, like when we were caught in that really bad storm at Blue Mountain Shelter. But I know if I stick to that budget, um, I'll have enough money to complete the trail and I'll also have plenty of money left over. So yeah, trying to stick to that budget, but also want to make sure that I'm having a great time out here. Um, and a budget of $225 is gonna be like a little bit less than $1,000 a month. Um, which people say is unrealistic to hike the trail on at this point, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna try it out. Maybe I can't do it. Um, hopefully I can. That's the goal, um, but I'll keep you guys updated on, on how it's working, and I'm sure when I get further north, that's gonna be harder, and at that point, I may need to adjust that number, but for now, that's what we're sticking with. Wow, so I don't know if you guys can tell by the video, those are some big logs. That was a big tree that fell down. Anytime you see the word gap, you know you're about to go uphill. And this hill has stairs all the way up. Yay!
about half a mile from Dick's Creek Gap, so I'm almost done. So I was just walking along and I realized that I never explained what slack packing even is. Um, I kind of just assumed that most of you knew because I have probably talked about it last year, but honestly that's not a fair assumption at all. So slack packing is basically where you take everything out of your backpack. So right now I don't have a tent, I don't have my quilt, um, don't have my sleeping pad, none of my like cook system, none of that. And you leave it either with somebody else or at like a hostel that you're staying at. So the biggest benefits of slack packing is that they allow you to rest. So we're just getting back into the trail. Um, it's been over a week now. I was gonna take a zero today, but I figured the slack packing would probably be fine instead. Or you can use slack packing to hike more miles than you normally would be able to. So yeah, that's what slack packing is. And sorry about the sun. Oh my goodness. Just made it to Dick's Creek Gap, and that's going to be it for today. Well, at least for hiking. It's only 11, so there's a lot more things to do today, but done walking. Just got back to the hostel, and I'm going through my food and putting together my resupply. After putting together my resupply, I ate some food, hung out with some friends, and then went to bed. I'll see you all tomorrow.